Okay, y'all, so I know I said I wasn't going to change her on camera, but I did decide to come back and do just that um, because I just, I don't know. I wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the maintenance and the upkeep of our dolls. And I know that this is, has probably been a topic that's been discussed before, but... Um, I don't know. I felt like I just wanted to put my two cents in on it just for a little while and share some things that I do. So I did find a really cute outfit to put on her. So she is going to put on this baby bagash outfit, you guys. And um, it is like, I don't know what to call this uh, material. It's not really denim, but it's like some kind of jean look i guess um it is like mm, i don't know you want to call this like an oatmeal blue <laughs> the only reason why i say that is because of the way that it kind of you know how oatmeal gray looks in the background like it kind of looks like that and then it has white stripes and this beautiful um stitching at the bottom with this pink floral print and um it also come with these cute little bloomers with a little uh, ruffle at the top. And I believe the back of the tunic, because this is like a tunic top, you guys. I think it's a dress. Um, I'm not for sure, but whatever. <laughs> it has four little buttons on the back. And so I thought this was going to be stinking cute for her. So this is what we're going to put on her. And take her out of this vitamin kit outfit. Now, I was sharing things about, you know, maintenance and upkeep and things like that. Um, I try not my best to, like I said, make sure that I keep the maintenance up on all of my babies. Especially even if I'm not doing a video. Um, they do have their special places in my um, nursery. I have an actual Ikea crib, you guys. So um, that houses, I want to say, let me count because I, I don't know for sure. That houses eight babies. And then two of my babies have actual chairs that they sit on. Um, then I have one that lays on the changing table. And then I have uh, three that are on the couch and then normally two of them are on my bed um, either on the Moses basket or on a lounger or on the play mat that I use to film um, Oakland on all the time. Most of the time she's on my bed and, and the play mat and most of the time the twins are either in the um, muslin, I'm sorry, the Moses basket or the um, or they're on the lounger. Now because, you know, I have a new baby right now. Uh, she tends to be on the um, lounger on my bed, Araya, and that's because she's new. But once she gets, you know, implemented into uh, the nursery after her, you know, newness, it's just me creating that bond. So once that bond is solidified, uh, she will have, I will find a place for her that'll be her special place unless I want to you know, take some time with her. But even though that they're all housed in different places, like I said, I do make sure that I do maintenance on them. I do make sure that they are, you know, basically their hair is combed and their clothes are okay. Um, I also dust them off. Um, I use these little cheap brushes from Dollar Tree, you guys. It is a wet and wild and it's super, super soft. They're $1.25 and I've been using these since I can remember. This is to like, you know, the maintenance, just dust the baby off if in their creases and things like that. Now, if I can't get it off with the brush and I don't have one with me right now, you guys, I can't find it. You know, the makeup applicators for your eyeshadow, the soft spongy ones. I use those to get into the creases and like the creases of their eyes, their nostrils, their mouths, if they're open, if they have like dented areas in their chin, 
and their neckline, fingers, toes, that sort of thing. Now, um, some, and I'm going to just start changing her, y'all, because I will sit here and just talk this whole time without doing this. But um, I used to use Q-tips and wet them, but you guys, that cotton on the Q-tips is a little bit harsh too, and it can scratch the paint. So, I mean, if that's something that you want to use and that's what you enjoy using with your baby, then that's your prerogative. But I personally and honestly would say that that's a no-no because you might, you know, scratch your baby's vinyl and i.e. scratch the paint. And you don't want to do that, you guys. You don't want to ruin these um amazing works of her art and y'all it might look like i'm you know manhandling her a little bit but i promise you i am not i'm being extremely gentle with this girl and i'm gonna try to be as gentle as i possibly can around her hair because i don't want to mess it up there we go i've been doing this for so long you guys i'm kind of good at it also, you might see little pieces of um, silk pillowcases in a lot of my videos and stuff like that. That is also to uh, keep up the maintenance of their hair. Sometimes I use saran wrap or plastic bags too, just to keep up the maintenance because, you know, sitting them, picking them up and putting them down, that's rubbing the back of their hair. And you don't want to rub it on a fabric like this, on this muslin because um, it will cause friction and friction will call cause I'm sorry cause loss of hair so that's important also you like you know you want to check on your baby's zip ties a lot you want to check around their arms make sure that their bodies are doing pretty good bodies don't last forever either you guys uh, they do have a lot of wear and tear as well um, I've changed out a quite a few bodies throughout the years on babies that I've had because it doesn't matter like you think that this stuff will last but in all reality it won't um like I said things will get uh get old and worn down and all of that so yeah we're just checking up on her I'm gonna pick her up and this is just something that I I do periodically every few weeks or so just to make sure that the babies are doing good um all that good stuff sometimes you even want to go in and put some more because the uh, polyfill in our babies too you guys it that also it doesn't stay fluffy forever we want to think that it does but after years it'll kind of lose its weight too or lose its uh fluff and then you'll want to go in there and um, reweight the baby, take the old poly out and uh, replace it with some new poly. So these are just basic maintenance things that you may want to do to your baby. Now, I did just a, a week ago or so put her in this Millie Moon diaper, you guys. This brand is so cute. Um, I purchased these at the doll show. And uh, we uh, take full advantage <laughs> of things so i'm definitely reusing this diaper is still in good shape when it starts to look worn down um that's when we'll trash it but right now it still looks pretty good you know yeah it looks perfect on her so we're gonna use that and with their hair like i said you want to make sure that you keep their hair uh up as well you want to use a good leave-in low hairspray. You don't have to, you guys. You're more than welcome to use water, too. Uh, but if you want uh, an ela a lasting hairstyle, my um, suggestion is this low hairspray. Um, you know, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I wish. But it's just awesome. And this is the baby powder scent, too. So they have lavender and they have unscented, but the baby powder is my favorite because when you spray this in their hair too, guys, this is just like spraying that uh, baby magic cologne on their clothes. Like you, they smell like this the entire time after you spray this in their hair. 
Um, I also would say invest in a nice toothbrush. Um, I love toothbrushes because you can get the flyaways. And also, this is good for baby hairs. So if you have babies who have those baby hairs, like your toddler and things like that, this is awesome to use. Now with the dry hairstyle, I do, you know, use one of these uh, goat's hair wooden brushes. So this is this comes in handy for like dry hair and just getting, you know, hairs back into place that are out of place and stuff like that. So this is also a good suggestion for that. Um, as far as combs go, um, I would use a, well, it depends on what I'm doing. Like if I'm trying to do a curly look, I'm going to use a, uh, what I call a rat tail comb. Let me see if I can grab one for you guys really quick. So this is a rat tail comb. And I can't find my big wide comb, but if your baby has thicker hair, I wouldn't recommend using one of these unless you already styled the hair and you're just trying to tease it to give it that curly wavy look, then this is good. And it's also good for uh, parting because we use this part <laughs> to part hair and to get a, a good straight part. So those are the things that I use for the maintenance on these beauties. And I mean, they've worked for me throughout the years and I know everybody has different things that they do and what works for them but I just wanted to share with um, you guys what I use and um, they do the things that I do use tend to work amazing for me like I've stated before I've been here for quite some time I've been here since uh, 2013 and um, you know I've tried all kinds of different things throughout the years and you know, some things stuck and some things didn't. But if these things uh, resonate with you guys, then you know you're more than welcome to try them as well. And I'm just going to turn her around so we can get the back buttoned up. And I think I picked a really good, <laughs> good outfit to change her in. Hold on. Hold on, Mama. Let me put your head down right here just for a moment so we can get this buttoned up. And you guys, I try to be as gentle with them as possible. I know they're not real, but they are valuable. And, um, you know, I just want to keep them in as pristine condition as I possibly can. So I'm very careful with all my babies. Yes, I is. Yeah, I'm a gentle mommy. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. If gorgeous were a person. <laughs> oh my goodness. And see, she ha the, the hair bow she has on works. You know, I don't really have to change it out. I did grab this one, but I feel like it's a little bit darker. So yeah, we're just going to keep that one on. Oh my goodness. Hey, beautiful. Say hey, TTs. Oh my goodness. So cute. So you guys know what time it is now. I am going to take her off or take you guys off rather the tripod so you can get a closer look at this beautiful baby. And say hello there. Oh, you guys. Ugh. I just want to eat her up right now. Oh my goodness. So stinking cute. Yes, I miss. Say yes, I miss. All right, you guys, I could do this forever, but don't want to take up too much more of you guys' this time. Hope everyone is having an awesome day, and I promise you uh, we won't be back <laughs> this time. Talk to you guys soon. Peace and blessings.